How to Pool Mine Pascal Coin on Nanopool.org Here on Nanopool.org, we can see that they've added Pascal Coin. They have Ethereum, Ethereum Classic, Sia Coin, Zcash, and Monero. Now, before we get started mining, I'm going to go to an exchange and get myself an account address. Here I am on Poloniex, and I've gone to Balances, and then Deposits and Withdrawals. If I scroll down this page, I'll find Pascal Coin. I'll click on Deposit. That'll show me my payment ID. I can also check out my QR code. And my deposit address. The deposit address is actually the account number for Poloniex. So that's why you need the payment ID when you're mining to send anything to Poloniex. The other option is to go to cryptopia.co.nz. If you go to balances and then search for PASC or PASCAL, it'll show you PASCAL coin. If you click on get address or show address, it will give you a payload ID and an account number. Here I am on the home page of pasc.nanopool.org. And I'm going to go click on the help tab. That'll take me to the getting started page. It says to mine Pascal coin, you need a GPU or CPU, Pascal coin address, and miner. An account can be obtained in several ways. The simplest way is to register on one of the exchanges. Miner can be downloaded from the link below. So if you click on the official miner, AMD, you'll be able to download the Pascal coin miner version 1.0.0. You can extract the archive to any folder you want. You'll have to edit the start batch file before you start mining and set your wallet address, worker, email address to the correct values. Since we're mining on an exchange, we're going to need our payment ID also. So here is mining to an exchange with a payment ID, worker, and email. You don't have to use an email as shown below. And if you want to mine directly to an exchange, you just replace the payment ID with a zero. So if we scroll down, we'll see the pool settings. The fee is 0%. Payout commission is 0 0.0001 pass. Minimum payout is one pass. And the share difficulty is static and equal to 10 billion. You can mine directly to your PASC wallet on any exchange. PPLNS payout scheme where N is defined as all submitted shares during the last three hours. Block confirmation after 110 blocks. Remember using the pool is at your own risk and we can't compensate any losses. Here are the different pool locations that you can use. And below that again it shows the miner download. So I'm going to go and I'm going to extract my miner. I'll go into the folder and I'm going to edit the start batch file. So I'll right click on start, go to edit. Here is my launch command. I'm going to change my pool from EU to Asia. Platform is zero. You might have to change this to one depending on your setup. For my 295 setup, I have to actually change that to one to get it to work. Here I'm using my 470 rig, so I'm going to add one more device. I'm going to add a six, so it uses seven devices. Then I'll need to enter my miner name, my address, my payment ID, my worker, and email. In this document here, I have my payment IDs and accounts for the two exchanges. I'm going to be using Poloniex for this example. So I'll copy my payment ID and paste that over payment ID in the launch command. I'll copy my account number and paste that over address in the launch command. And then I'm going to give my worker a name. I'll name this one 470. And last, I'll type in my email, cryptomind at cryptomind.com. Remember, the email is optional. So I'll save that. And I'll double click on the start batch file to launch the miner. 
It'll start up and connect to NanoPool. Now it's mining. If I copy my payment ID and then paste that into the address or payment ID box and click search, it'll take me to my personal stats page where I can see my workers, where I can see my balances, where I can see my hash rates. I can also check my payments and shares. Here is a rig with 1295 on it. So I just wanted to show you the batch file because I did have to use platform 1. You can see in the start command it says dash p1 instead of dash p0. When I put in dash p0 it just wanted to use the CPU. So dash p1 got the GPUs to work. You may have to change that. You may have to play with the platform setting. And this miner might have some bugs in it so it might work well with your rig. It might not. You're just going to have to try and see. See how stable it is. See if your miners stay online. I know with at least one of my rigs it tends to kind of drop off the pool go off once in a while, so watch for that, and hopefully they come out with a more stable, better miner that works with all cards. So I hope you liked this video, I hope it helped, and thanks for watching.